I have got some major, major explaining to do about the Mycelium Resistance Headquarters. So, I have bamboozled not only the hip, but I have bamboozled some of you guys, which probably made it all the more convincing. So, let's explain. It all started last episode, when I met Impulse to talk about some mycelium shenanigans, and we went and had a look at what the hep were doing. I'm sorry, the hip. And there was a clip that we recorded that I had to cut out of my video. Oh, look, it's Mumbo. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, self-portrait Mumbo? <laughs> He's looking for me! It's a work in progress. Needs more facial hair. <laughs> I'm sure someone will add some. So true. So, for context, let's watch that clip that me and Impulse had to cut from our videos for this to make sense. Over here, check it out. Wait. Button? It, okay, watch this. Button, come up here. Quickly. Oh, dude. Fall. Oh, dude. <laughs> check it out, man. Yeah, I already saw this. You, you got cub with this, right? Like this button here. You, oh, don't press the button. Don't press the button. It's triggered. No, I added something new. Look, look. If you come over here, this opens up. <gasps> Extra secret, secret tunnel. Mm hmm. New secret hallway. Okay. Oh, I love You're going to love this next tunnel. part. Secret tunnels are my <laughs> favorite thing. Dude, every time you get sign. someone, just make a new tunnel. <laughs> yes. Oh. What? Have you linked this up to. Have you linked this up to our base? No, this our is base our... is nowhere near here. What are you talking about? Oh, dude, this isn't our base. There's no. A... <laughs> You, you, get it? you didn't. You didn't. You <laughs> recreated the entire mycelium headquarters. I did. It's a replica. Dude, what? This thing took me like six hours to make. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Oh it was my a... goodness. Oh my goodness. Should we write a plan? Right. That's what I was thinking. Like a bogus plan to throw them off. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh my goodness. It's happening. <laughs> that. Yes. <laughs> That is perfect. <laughs> Mumbo for Mary is back on the cards, everyone. The, <laughs> the plan is to overthrow Scar and make Mumbo for Mumbo Mary again. Dude, this is so... M Mumbo doesn't have a clue what's going on. He said to me the other day, like, oh, is this something going on with my ceiling? And I'm just like, uh -huh. nah, nothing much. Did, it's like, did, okay, cool. Did. The signs aren't enough. I think we better make it worth their while visiting, if you know what I mean. Ah, you a little know, extra yeah, flair. Yeah, a little extra... Yeah, a little extra flair. Let's play okay. that. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll leave that I can... in your hands. I'll leave that in your hands. Okay, I got some up my sleeve. I know exactly where your head's at. <laughs> I just showed you the the fake base. Yep. This is the real base. The, I showed you the fake headquarters. Yep. In order to get somebody to actually find it and go in and fall for all the false information, I think you should show it on video of you entering it and make it seem like you're entering the the real one, uh, but you're not. Okay, okay, you know what okay, I mean? Okay. Just pretend you're entering the real one and you accidentally did a, show okay, the entrance. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it so it looks like I've just gone to uh -huh. the... I'll go to the area, I'll press the button, I'll leave enough time <laughs> to hear some yes. pistons, but then cut, and then I'll be okay. inside the base. And I may even cut it so I'm inside this base, and that should be enough to leave them there. So, Impulse basically has created an entire decoy HQ. And he created a button here, which he asked me to record showing. Meaning that it was always going to lure someone from HEP or HIP to come down here and find it. I can't believe, still can't believe, that he made an exact replica. Now, those of you that had keen eyes realized that this wasn't identical. There was some bits missing and wasn't exactly the same. So, what happened was, Fulf saw me enter the fake base, which I quite poorly cut into my video. And then this is what happened. False then followed that footage, just like we planned, and fell into the fake mycelium headquarters. Unfortunately, she didn't actually get killed by the prank that Impulse had set, so in the end, it ended up being a bit of a failure, but at the same time, we did massively bamboozle her. So it just goes to show, the mind games are extremely real, and no one knows where the base is. 
we have been bamboozling everyone from day one. I see so many comments about people saying, I know where the base is. I know where the base is. The bedrock. The sea. I see where you're flying in. I promise you, no one knows where it is. It's honestly so hidden and we're taking it very seriously. So now that that big reveal is out of the way and you can see the level of mind games that we are now currently entering, let's crack on with the rest of the video because we've got quite a lot to do and I once again need to enter the mycelium headquarters. So my tasks for today are two things. Number one is sort out our storage problem. I've set up a bunch of this so that I can start making a proper storage room for all of our mycelium which we all have a massive plan for. My second task for today for the mycelium resistance is to release the sheep. I've been breeding up a bunch of them. I even got some more wheat in order to do that. And my goodness, I mean, this is... <laughs> I, I think the mycelium resistance might end up breaking Hermitcraft through the power of sheep. Never thought I'd say that. They are a powerful animal. And they're all wearing extremely cool sunglasses. I may need to make this pen a little bit bigger. <laughs> this is gonna cause some serious lag. However, we have not got ourselves enough sheep to make this project work. So we need a lot more, and that's gonna take a few minutes or hours, depending on how successful this is, but we need a lot more sheep. Be free! There we go, there's a bit more space for them, so they're not colliding and causing so much lag. So the plan is to release all of these sheep later on. Before we get into all the mycelium resistance headquarters stuff, there's something we need to do. Again, it happened a few episodes ago, but I spent days, and I mean days, collecting leaves to try and sneak a win at the hedge games, which is just over here. And I heard that the winners have been announced, and it's Rendog. And me. I also won. I was on his team. So I think we should get ourselves in a call with Ren and we get to choose our prize. The winner gets to pick the first pile. So it's between this one and this one. So let's get Ren a call. Green, I can't actually believe it, but we won. I can believe it because we spent like three days collecting leaves. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> but we won the whole we thing. We did win. Uh, dude, th this we is amazing. I, I never win anything. Yes, the winner is Ren Dog. Yes! Seeing as this was, like, your group, I'll let you do the, the honours of choosing, and then I'll, I'll, we'll... What do you want to do? Split it down the middle? Yeah, we got to go 50-50. You Sweet. Know. Yeah. Okay, which, I mean, look, which one do you want? I, it's we, It's got to be the near the right. Yeah. You know? Okay. It, it's too tasty. It's too beautiful. I'm glad you said um, that. I'm so yeah. glad you said that. I also want the bark imprint. So, yeah, this is the one, I think. Yep. This is the one. We get beacons and everything, dude. Let's it's take, amazing. Let's take it down and see what we got. Right, what do we got? We're having, having to use this hopper because we haven't got anything else. Yeah, right, professional okay. minecrafters. Dude, this makes it super easy. So we get 10 diamonds each, yeah. 5 netherite blocks each, 20 gold, and 2 beacons. Oh, amazing. There we go, and you can have the bark imprint since it was, uh, it was your group. Well, all of that grinding down forests, definitely worth it, Green. Thanks, Bernie. Bro. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. Yeah, well, yeah that was, this is... You know, 10 diamond blocks is a lot, but like... Comparing what I get from the barge, it's actually not that much, but the netherite blocks, that's the big one. That's that is the, the That is the big one. Yep. Whoops. Oh, We're man. Combining them again. <laughs> Green, we got one more bit of business to attend to, my friend. We certainly do. Yes. Here in the, the laboratory of uh, R&D. <laughs> Ren and Dog. Yes. I'd just like to say, I have created a wonderfully scientific machine to breed mushrooms. <laughs> You've gone back to 2011. <laughs> I know, dude. Dude, I was just thinking to myself, oh, yours looks so much more professional than mine. Mine's just a pen full of sheep. Well, listen, it's going to do the trick. We still need to get the sheep into the muplicator, yep. though. Um, so have you, I, I don't really know how to do this. I guess, like, I can jury rig the machine a little bit here with some fencage. Yeah. This should potentially work. Maybe could you get the sheep into there somehow? Well, that, I mean, that there's do. probably enough of them that we can just, like, they'll just head on in. There we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Science. Are we ready? Should we unleash go! the beast? Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, go they're pushing it. They're all going. This is exactly what I... 
Oh man, you. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there oh my in. goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. It is working. It's working. Uh, Wait, there's there's XP balls in there. We've had losses. <laughs> now we just need to know whether they're actually getting out the other side. The sheep. Yes. There's a traffic jam over in Sheep Central. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I'm in. <laughs> Careful, dude. Goodbye. Oh, it's working. Come on, Mr. Actually... Yeah, the, the first the first recruits are now out. I'm having excellent. I'm having to lure them out with uh, there's there's a serious traffic jam. Okay, I'm trying to shove some more of the sheep into the multiplicator, but uh... I'm having to break the top because they're all drowning. Oh, excellent. It's working. There's way more than I imagined. Right, my plan is to change out some of the blocks that are grass into mycelium so that it can all start to spread. Green, it's actually working. <laughs> it genuinely is working. They are decimating the grass. I have, I'm yet to see a single block of mycelium spread, but it's working. They are taking down the grass. I can't, I just can't believe it. Like in my trial, it really didn't work that well. <laughs> it took three it's hours. It's working brilliantly. And they're spreading out. They're going all over the place. We need the, more sheep. The mushrooms are back on the island. The native species of the island have returned. We are restoring the shopping district to its former glory. Dude, this, <laughs> this is definitely not science. This is getting kind of scary. <laughs> this <now>. is illegal. <laughs> I think the server's going to break, to be honest. I can't. I literally can't get out. I'm not even moving. I'm just jumping and getting pushed. Help. Yeah. Help. All right. Oh. You're good. So, right. round two. Round two. We've yeah, we've adjusted the multiplicator. <laughs> Wait, do I need to open this up for them? Yeah, you open that up. I'll open these up. Here they come. Here we go. Okay, sheep, you got to move, though. In they go. There we go. Please work. Hey, this is going better than before. <laughs> I love yes. this. I love Dude. that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> madness. That's brilliant. <laughs> Why is this so funny? <laughs> 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 There's something that is so working funny. a charm. <laughs> go, my agents, go! This was a this was a mistake, Ren. You okay in there? No, no, I'm not. I'll tell you what. I'll meet you at the I'll meet you at the exit. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> eat, my pretties. Eat. Demolish I the grass. I think we might have broken the server though, dude. You know, I'm feeling the lag it's up here for sure. It's super laggy. I'm just bringing a load of these sheep. I'm just bringing them all into Mumbo's new shop, whatever this thing is. <laughs> He's just AFK. Standard Mumbo. And and you do this. I did nothing. <laughs> I caught you in the act. <laughs> Told you it was all Mumbo. It, mechanically, it's actually working, and the hip, oh, the hip, yes, it is. the hip are gonna have to actually do something about this. I thought I'd have to abandon this project and the sheep wouldn't work, but it's like, there. It is working. Sometimes I even surprise myself. It's been a day since we released the sheep, and as you can see, it's genuinely working. The mycelium is slowly spreading, and for some reason, it's far more satisfying to see it spread like this than to just have to mine it all out and place mycelium down. So overall, an enormous success. I don't think this could have gone any better, to be honest. But it turns out, in just one day, someone's already shaved the cows. They're back, they're just normal cows now. What's wrong with mushrooms? I have to say though, I kind of hope that the hep team, the hip team, get a move on and start doing something about these sheep because they are actually causing a bit of a lag problem there there are far too many sheep in the shopping district but that's not our problem that's town hall's problem do you see mumbo's face changed again hep, <laughs> hep life join hep get cake that's pretty good and also we saw mumbo working on a self-portrait over there man he really is handsome and humble so let's take a look at what this is. Welcome to the Hermitcraft Spookification Chamber. With Halloween on the horizon, it's time for some Hermit Horrors. Set your spawn, remove all your items, deposit 16 diamonds, jump in, and then you're spooky. Woo! Dude, why is there 40 pages in this book? Has he just filled this with empty pages? Oh, no. 
This process is not currently <laughs> reversed. That's the fine print. <laughs> he couldn't put small text in a, in a Minecraft book, so he just decided to put it right at the end of 40 pages. Okay, so this gives you a spooky Halloween Minecraft skin. I think we'll come back to this next episode. So now we need to go and do what we wanted to do at the start of the episode, which is make a storage chamber. So let's go and do that now. The cuts are getting sloppier, I realize that. <laughs> oh, and also, hilariously, I decided to come up with my own decked out box. Black shulker boxes that I will put in the shopping district, and they have different messages for mycelium. Spread the spores, fight town hall. It's about the principle, so we'll put these in the shopping district after we have made our storage room. So, let's crack on, and we're not going to do anything too fancy, just a space to store some shulker boxes so this can be put to like you know like look at this shulker box storage monster chest monster is on the loose we need to get this organized so let's get cracking Nothing over the top, nothing too spectacular, but at least we can keep this base a little more clean and tidy without all these shulkers everywhere. So that's a pretty good thing. And I also counted it up. We have 34 shulker boxes full of mycelium. This is a serious amount of dirt. So I don't know what we're going to do with all this, but I'm sure it'll come in useful. Also, above base, Captain Shenanigans over here has made possibly the best feature of the base so far. You throw the pearl in this water and it keeps it. Oh, no, did it wrong. I d don't know what I did. Help. No. <laughs> you throw the ender pearl in water. There we go. And then now that ender pearl is in stasis. So basically, if every single person throws an ender pearl, you see Ethos is there. What happens is if you press the button or the piston activates, touching the ender pearl and allowing you to fall into the meeting room. So we essentially have our own emergency meeting system. Now I don't know if it's actually linked up to the giant red button that we made last episode, but if it is, oh man, head of shenanigans indeed. So let's go and take all of these fake decked out boxes and put them in the shopping district. Things are really starting to shape up for Team Mycelium. I'm going to put decked out boxes where I always look but never find ones in the hope that people will find it. Oh man, this is the perfect spot for a decked out box on top of the witch's hat. Tango must have so much fun with this. I always look in the chest monster and there's never any here. <laughs> B-Dubs has made one of those like blow up wiggly whirly things. I don't know what they're called. They, you know what I mean? The fabric people that have like hot air blown through them and then they just go wiggly whirly people. So we'll put one on the mouth of the llama and one more. I think we got to put it up at Hep in the create. <laughs> just there. That'll do. Perfect. They have absolutely zero defense. There's a bunch of billboards that have turned up. We know, we know how to deal with dirt, Hep. Are they calling us dirt? Is that what's happening here? I thought they de dealt with grass. I feel like you don't know how to deal with dirt at all. Man, where have all the sheep gone? Well, the mycelium has spread very, very significantly. Look at this, this worked so well. But where have the sheep gone? There was like a million more sheep than there are right now. Well, either way, somehow this entire episode ended up being mycelium resistance related, which is not what I planned, but here we are. I just spent all day in the shopping district. So let's go back to the base. Hold on, what did I just see? I think I've just figured out. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're like the Monsters Inc guys. 2319. Oh no. I think I've just figured out what happened to the sheep. I think the dogs got them. If you needed any more proof that these uh, these are the bat, I thought <laughs> I thought that said hip. Look, look. <laughs> hip, hep, hip, hip, hep, hip. 
Oh man, they've they've oh they they've taken some of our sheep. Don't worry, boys. We'll get you out of there. So. Let's go back to our base because mycelium is taking over the world at the moment. So, I've been working on my base and it is getting pretty massive. Check it out. I've recently built this giant rocket and a bunch of industrial stuff which I plan on making some farms in to get this place getting really productive. So check it out. This is my enormous tower. I am really proud of what I've built here. It's not spawn proof as you can see bit of a zombert there but check it out it's a really good build to be able to fly into and massive I mean look at the size of this thing it goes all the way down to bedrock do you have any idea how long this took to mine out so let's go and get some more work done okay that was the hermit challenge take credit for someone else's base that was false symmetry's base guys not mine that is another hermit challenge complete i found a bunch of hidden chickens that were like still in here so it turns out i haven't done all of the ones i needed to do scare another hermit well we'll have to do that when we get an opportunity you must have been so confused i mean it felt really weird because i was like flying around false's base going yeah look at what i've made and i've never actually been to false's base before so i was like where's my portal <laughs> where where's all this stuff that i've supposedly built perfect now on to our real base the one that we really did why <sighs> eggs everywhere the one that we really did make ourselves the glorious green mansion and i've been thinking to myself I want to make this thing even more productive. So I had an idea. Behind here, behind all this black concrete, there is quite a substantial bit of space. Now I've lit it up because it was a mob spawner's dream. And that got me thinking, well, why don't we just make this a mob spawner? So I think I answered my own question by <laughs> lighting it up what this place is going to be really good for. I obviously over calculated when I started mining this out and I don't think it would be a massive issue or task to mine all of this out and turn it into a bunch of platforms for a giant mob spawn. Maybe not a giant mob spawner but a mob spawner because it is good to have a stock of things that I don't have all the time like string or bones. And maybe I can expand that into a few more farms. So my mansion can become its own industrial area. And the reason for that is because there's actually not many caves around here at all. And the ones that there are, I've lit up already. So this makes it prime, prime real estate for making a mob spawner. So that will be my plan, my task for next episode. Much like the sugarcane farm that I put off for a long time. I want to dabble in some work on the base and the mycelium resistance because I don't want to abandon this place. I want to keep working and I want to keep making some cool stuff over here. So I'm thinking this needs to be finished because realistically this isn't finished. And then I need to kind of replicate the success over here to the right hand side. And then maybe one day we'll look at the back of the mansion. Maybe not. At this point I feel like I can't. I, d I feel like I genuinely can't look at the back of the mansion for the rest of the season. I feel like everything has to be at the front. But anyway, I think that is all we have time for today. We did get quite a lot done, and I'm extremely excited about what's going on with the mycelium resistance. Hence, I spent an entire episode on it. There's some very exciting plans and things to come, so I can't wait to share them all with you. And I can't wait to use the emergency meeting button. It's gonna be excellent, but of course it, it only works if they're online. So I have to wait for the team to be online, the resistance to be online, to be able to call an emergency meeting. Okay, so that's all for now, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.